Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm a drifter. I'm a creative. Uh, I like to design stuff, create anything I can. I like anything with a motor, going fast sideways, motorcycles, anything that puts me in danger, uh, whatever it is, I like to do it. But uh, the start of the story is my parents had their arguments. I was a certain age, maybe a little less than a year or something like that. My mom and my dad had just moved into a house together. He told her that he was going to go out for some milk. So he left uh, and then it was nighttime and my mom was kind of questioning where he was and called him no answer next day called him no answer so she finally went to the bedroom and on the foot of the bed there was like a step stool i guess that went up to the bed there was a note that said uh i'm going back to my ex-wife i can't do it i'm sorry because of how my father was when i was young and how the dynamic between my parents was i ended up maybe not wanting to be but needing to be the provider and protector and father figure and dad and take her care of and defender and all this stuff of anyone that happened to come in my life. And I kind of just started to take everyone's issues and problems on as my own and figured uh, I was going to fix these for them and probably focus on them and not myself because I think that was way easier. But it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to have to be the support system and strength for almost everyone in your life. It's made me really strong. And I feel like I have this like superhero image of myself, like I'm invincible. And I, I'll admit, I think it gets me in trouble quite a bit, um, whether it be physically and you know just hurting yourself because you're like, I can move that mountain. I'll, I'll go over there right now and fucking shift that shit. And all of a sudden you're like, I've broken a bone or I tore a tendon or you know, I pulled a muscle and I don't know if I did, but I'm going to pretend I didn't or whatever it is. And then the other emotional aspect of it is overpromising yourself. You know, uh, I feel like I can handle everyone's shit and fix everyone's shit and really just uh, hunker down and I can sleep less and do a little less here and sacrifice this for myself and do this for this person over here. And, and, uh, and you know, you feel like you can handle it all. And then just at a point, you kind of like something gives up, whether it's your body or your mind. And then uh, what you have to do is what I've been learning the past like year or so, and I wish I learned it sooner, is you just have to focus on making yourself the best person that you can be for yourself and focusing on that first, whether it be going to the gym physically or, you know, mentally meditating or taking time for yourself or just moments of silence or breath work, ice baths, sauna, whatever integration you can have physically and mentally, spiritually, all of it. Um, and when you do that, you do become that superhero and that superpower and you do realize that people can handle their own shit without you and they're not going to hate you if you do something for yourself and not them and true friends will support it and i see that every fucking day i'm not good yet i'm not there but i'm better and that's a, a journey that i'm currently fucking you know crawling through and trudging through and and i like it though because i feel like the best version of myself i've been so far and i feel like i've been able to be a better support system for those people around me because of it. Take care of yourself. Focus on yourself. Uh, the people that are supposed to be in your life will support it, and you can support them better by doing that. So thanks for listening. Portal story time. Story time. <laughs>